What's up, y'all? I'm making this video because most of you pretty much know I'm going to get a BBL. Um, a lot of people had questions, so I pretty much wrote them down and I'm going to summarize them and go over everything. Um, any other questions, feel free to DM a bitch, you know, leave some shit in the comments. Um, whatever floats y'all boat, you know. Don't mind her in the background. They can see you, bitch, in the mirror. Oh, kidding. Okay, so I'm pretty much about to hop right into it because I hate when I be watching videos and shit and they be talking for the first five minutes. I hate that. Anyway, so a lot of people was asking, who am I going to? Um, I'm going to Spectrum and Aesthetics, Dr. Vaguely. Okay, Spectrum and Aesthetics, Dr. Vaguely in Miami. How did I choose my doctor? Um, the first doctor I initially wanted to go to was Dr. Dalbeck, but... Um, she was booked up to like the end of 2021 and I knew I had a certain time. I wanted my surgery before my 25th birthday. Um, so I ended up having to do more research and I ended up bumping into him and I liked his work. I liked how he worked with my body type. Um, I did a lot of research on him. He was board certified. A lot of plastic surgeons are not board certified. Um, he been doing surgery for 42 or 44 years, something like that. He had great reviews. He gave you a natural look. Um, I just liked him because he suited everything that it seemed like I was looking for. How much was it? So, I'm going to get into that. I think overall, when I first did the, got the book the surgery, it was 4500 but... I'll talk about this later on. I had to add a sale saver, which was an extra six hundred, um, and I ended up adding on one of their BBL recovery packages that was like three twenty. So whatever that math is, forty five hundred plus six hundred plus three twenty. Um, y'all can talk y'all shit, but I'm not fix fixing to calculate that shit. You niggas know what's up. Anyway, um, what was his requirements? Your BMI had to be under 34 for him and uh, above 22. When I first booked this, I booked my surgery in October of 2020. At the time, I was 147. My BMI was like 26 point something. Um, so I was good. Um, and for those of y'all who don't know what BMI is, it's like body mass index. It's calculating your height with your weight, right? Yeah, your height with your weight. Um, the process of booking was pretty easy. They asked me to send them some photos. Um, I had to do front, back, side, side, send those photos in. I did a $250 deposit to lock in my price and my date. And then you had to have $1,000 paid towards your balance at least 60 days. Um, at least 60 days before your date. Um, getting mentally prepared for me, this is something I'm not gonna say this is something I always wanted to do, but for like the past couple years, I wanted to do it. Initially, I just wanted lipo because I'm um, a bitch who stick. I had an ass, I had my own ass. The fuck, I did. So don't say no hard shit because I know you about to say so. I didn't say shit. Okay, just that, just make sure. But initially, I just wanted lipo. But then, somewhere along the lines, I started losing all this weight for whatever reason. I'm like, okay, they about to suck this fat out. Anyway, put that shit in my ass. Give a bitch, you know, some shit. Mm -hmm. So, me being mentally prepared, I pretty much am already mentally prepared for real. Like, the only thing I'm hoping is like, God, please don't let me get up looking botched. And I don't want to look like no ant. But I feel like I chose a pretty good doctor. Um that i'm gonna look more so if anything i feel like i'm gonna look more so natural than looking botched or anything um getting surgery clearance 60 days before your surgery you gotta go and start getting these blood work these chest x-ray ekg um urine analysis and stuff like that they also tell you to take vitamin c pills twice a day and um this iron supplement called Floridex. I'm gonna be completely honest. I stopped taking the Floridex because I think it was giving me migraines, which led to why I had to add in that cell saver because my hemoglobin levels was low. Um, they tell you to take that iron supplement so that they won't be low, but that shit was giving me migraines every day, so I didn't take it, which is why I had to add that cell saver on at the last minute, which was the additional six hundred dollars. Um COVID test. 
you get a code you got to take a covid test there but for whatever reason it's an extra 150 dollars um getting my clearance y'all though was a headache because something was going on with my ekg i had to go see a cardiologist and i was getting nervous but i ended up getting cleared i was cool i'm good to um undergo surgery um next thing i want to get into is what i packed this is a lot of questions i've been getting asked um so pretty much here's everything that i packed here i'm gonna go over um i packed some sheets reason i packed sheets we stand in a uh airbnb and i don't want to fuck them people's sheets up because i want my fucking deposit back so i'm taking my own sheets um, oh, also shout out to uh, Barbie's Recovery Collection or Barbie's Recovery. Let me get the name right because I bought a whole BBL recovery box from her and it came with a lot of stuff. Yep, Barbie's Recovery Collection. So I'm gonna go over what all was in that box. I'm gonna tag her. Shout out to her because I was gonna do everything one by one to get it from Amazon, but I ended up pricing everything and it just seemed uh, more lucrative to get that shit from her to get the box from her. Um, so I'm gonna go over everything that was in her box taking house shoes. You want to be comfortable um, I bought Let's see Let me show y'all what I bought And all this stuff. I don't know where y'all from watching this video But I a bitch like me I went to Foreman Mills because you're gonna be fucking your clothes up So I went to go buy a bunch of cheap big ass clothes big comfy clothes. You're gonna be swollen You want to pack big comfy clothes? Um, I got this robe right here from Foreman Mills. Y'all see it got the Christmas pandas on it. This motherfucker was five dollars. I bought it. Um, I just bought nightgowns, big jogging suits, uh, for if I am able to leave out the house. These nightgowns was like five dollars a fucking piece. Nightgown, shit like this. Easy shit for me to put on. Cause when I was doing uh watching videos and doing my research and stuff, the girls were saying like how they skin hurt, like how it hurt for them to pull clothes up and stuff like that. I don't want to pull nothing on. I bought these big ass clothes, big ass um t-shirts and stuff for that. So right now I'm just going over the stuff that I personally bought. Um panties. This was a good thing because I did not think about this. Like um I bought large panties. Right now I wear small, but I bought large because first off. I'm getting a BBL. My butt is going to be bigger and I'm going to be swollen. So I decided to go two sizes up. So I hope these are cool. Granny panties, bitch. I ain't trying to be sexy, ho. I mean, I'm trying to be sexy, but not during my recovery. How late you feel me? <laughs> um. So yeah, more panties I bought. Um. So now I kind of want to get into her box. I want to get into her recovery box. Again, this is Barbie's recovery collection, her BBL post-op box. This was really good. Um. It comes with fragrance free flushable wipes you know if you gotta wipe your incisions off wipe that ass bitch you know because you're gonna be her you want to wipe that ass pretty good comes with cotton swabs not quite sure what these are for but must need them she provides lipo foams you're gonna have need to like need to have some lipo foams to go inside your faja to help with your recovery process also, I wish I would have waited to get my box because I didn't even know it came with a robe. And her robe looks so comfy. Um, it came with this robe. Uh, it comes with this instant hot pack. Of course, y'all know this is going to help you, um, you know, when you're in pain. She gave large men's t-shirts. Again, I told y'all, you want to pack big clothes. You don't want nothing tight on your body. You're going to be hurting. You're going to be in pain. Um, it comes with the Arnica gel. For those of you who don't know what the Arnica gel is, um, it helps with the bruises and pain relief. Um, it's got the Asper cream, pain relief cream, um, extra strength Tylenol. Uh, it came with pineapple juice. I don't know if y'all know, but what I was doing my research, um, I read that pineapple juice helps with the recovery process as well. Um, her box came with this ad board. Again, this is going to go help with compression up against your stomach this is gonna go under your faja as well um it came with bad ch bed chucks uh these bed chucks of course like i just said how i got these sheets because i don't want to fuck those people airbnb up um you line these, you line your bed with these you can line the back seat of your car with these because you're gonna be leaking you don't want to um mess those people's stuff up um, this did not come in the box, but I ordered this separately. Uh, it's a, uh, the backboard for your back that you need inside of your file. Actually, I'm 
just now opening it up so I can show y'all what it looked like. So this is what that looks like. It's going to go in your back. Um, it came with alcohol to help you clean. It came with tape and gauze. Uh, a urinal. You're going to need this, ladies. We can't sit down on the, um, on the toilet and pee. It came with maxi pads. Um, I believe these are to cover up your incisions. You can take these over your incisions to help with leaking. Um, I did hear, read about that. Um, more gauzes. Because like I said, you're going to be leaking. It comes with the antibacterial uh, soap. Um, more wipes. Flushable wipes it came with. Now, these two things right here, I bought myself. I purchased this stuff from Dollar Tree. Uh, a shower curtain liner again so what i plan on doing i'm gonna put the shower liner over the sheets that the airbnb already came with um and then i'm gonna put my sheets over it line my sheets with the bed chucks this is so that again it, it's not gonna get through this is a shower liner that your liquid is not gonna get through um no sheets um i got a mattress cover too this was only a dollar i just got it just to be safe and sorry I saw some girls say they were itchy. I got a back scratcher. You know, you don't got to reach back that much to scratch yourself. Um, got this to help wash my back. I think that's pretty much. Oh, let me tell y'all. A bitch, I packed me some motherfucking edibles, you feel? I know, like, my thing come with, like, Percocet to Oxycodone. If that's your speed, that's that's cool. I, me, personally, I don't want to be off that shit. I don't want to risk getting an addiction to that shit. So, I got myself some of the fucking edibles. You can't go wrong with no goddamn Mary Jane. Can I get an amen? Okay. Um, <laughs> so, that's pretty much... That's pretty, Yeah, that's pretty much everything that I packed. Um, again, shout out to Barbie's Recovery Collection. Uh, so, again, that's pretty much all that I packed. But, shout out to Barbie's Recovery Collection. Um, that's where I got that BBL post-op box from. It was only $100. Um... My package, I mentioned earlier that I added on a package with my uh, BBL. It came with three massages. They said those massages is important as fuck to get after your surgery. It came with a garment, which is your faja that you're going to need. Um, a roller pin, so it's like a self-massage stick. Some arnica gel. Um, and a triangle, which is uh, another board that goes inside. Um, I'm probably going to be purchasing another faja because they said, you know, you're going to shrink as you continue through the process and rather than i'm gonna buy another one but after that one i'm not gonna buy another one i'm just gonna go get it altered take it to a local seamstress to get it altered to get it tightened in um i think that's pretty yeah that's pretty much all i bought that's pretty much all i packed um like i said take y'all some comfy clothes um where am i saying that i am not staying in a recovery home i would have but i did not because me and my man going because he love me and he gonna be able to take care of a bitch i said i'm gonna give me a motherfucking bell ring that bitch when i need that nigga frederick touch my fucking tea something nigga um no i'm playing though like no he's going with me um he's going with me so we're not staying at no recovery home we got an airbnb um, I don't think there's nothing wrong with staying in a recovery home. Um, oh, one more thing y'all packed that I don't have in here that I left in my car. Compression socks. And let me just tell y'all motherfuckers this. I went to the uniform store. I swear to God, I ain't no cheap ass bitch. No, take that back. I am a cheap ass bitch. I don't give a fuck. I paid fucking $50 for four pair of fucking socks. I was highly upset. Because then I went on Amazon. They had eight pair of socks, eight pair of compression socks on Amazon for $25. Eight fucking pair. Bitch, I got four for 50 I was upset. So don't get y'all from the uniform store. Take y'all's asses on Amazon and order them goddamn compression socks. Do you hear me? Okay. But I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. I don't do this. I'm trying to make sure I cover everything that people was asking me. But, um, yes, we're staying in the Airbnb. Um... Didn't go to a recovery home. I don't think there's nothing wrong with going to a recovery home. Uh, I'm just personally not because my boyfriend is going with me. He going to take care of a bitch, you know? Like, he he love me. He going to take care of me. He looking out for your girl. Um, There was something else I was going to say. Oh, my aftercare massages. My doctor's office automatically scheduled my massages for me. Um, It already came with three. I added on two additional. I'm going to be in Miami for seven days um oh and my package also came with a bbl pillow y'all came with a bbl pillow um 
I'm scared of those massages. Uh, I'm going to give you all another update three days after so I can tell y'all how my first, second, and third day was of afterwards. But this is pretty much it. If y'all got any questions, DM a bitch. My name on Instagram is um, angel, A-N-N-G-E-E-L underscore. Um, leave any questions y'all have in the comments. I'm a motherfucker open book. A bitch is transparent. Um, I'm not getting this surgery for my boyfriend, to be completely honest. I really don't think um i'm getting it for myself i wanted it for me this is not something that somebody made me get um anybody who wants surgery get that shit if you want it bitch if you're a bitch that want to go to the gym i encourage you to go to the gym bitch because i'm gonna be in the gym after my fucking surgery but no that's pretty much it y'all so like i said if y'all got any other questions let me know